Hey guys, Ojel Bonnie here, bringing you guys our WPF Season 1 Week 2 battle against Mid Pokemaster and his Kentucky Toy Cats. Mid's return to Draftly, we are his second game back, which is always cool. Mid's a good buddy of mine, please go check him out in the description below. He's been around the community forever, he's the original owner and founder of the BBR. So go show him some love in his return to the Draft League scene and return to uploading. And man, he's got a scary team. We're going to go over the team that we're bringing in the matchup just so you know what we're bringing and why we're bringing it. If you do want to skip ahead to the battle, there's a timestamp at the top of the screen and in the description below um, to jump ahead to that. Before we do, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to 3,000 and there's a ton of you guys who are watching the vids each and every week and not subscribing. So I appreciate if you ton, uh, I appreciate it. it's a ton if you dropped a sub on the channel. Uh, and if you like the video, it helps me out a lot. Um, and it's pretty easy and free. But yeah, with that being said, we can go and jump on into it. Our team, if you did forget, right over right over there, consists of Spectrier, Terra Sneasler, Zarud, Sylveon, Sandy Shocks, Uxi, Copperaja, Volcanion, Braviary, and Knackle Stack. While our opponent's team is at the bottom of the screen, and it consists of Chien Pao, Terra Espothra, Rotom Wash, Grimmsnarl, Dawnfan, Chestnut, Cyclozar, Venomoth, Galarian Zapdos, and Masquerade. Biggest starts to me. One, Jen Pao. Look at my switch in. I want you to tell me what switch is in on my team. Nothing. I have nothing for that Pokemon. It's going to be very difficult for me to beat it. The Spothler can also get out of hand very fast. I think a Terra Fighting set in particular absolutely runs my fade. Terra Blast plus Lumina Crash kind of just runs me right now. And that's really, really scary. So we're going to have to be careful about how we deal with that. I'm also very scared of Galarian Zapdos. I don't have good Galarian Zapdos counterplay on my team. Flying plus fighting is so good into every team, and in particular into my team, it's very scary. So, um, we got a pretty cool team though. I think we brought other than that, his offense actually does not scare me because there isn't really any more offense. Venomoth can get out of hand, we just have to be careful about how we play around it. Okay, that being said, our first one right here this is our Chen Pao check, guys. And I know that sounds stupid. We are Max Fizda Volcanion with Flame Eruption or Flame Eruption, Flamethrower, Steam Eruption, Rest, and Sleep Talk, Heavy Duty Boots. We are Max Fizda with Water Absorb. Now, Chen Pao switch in. I shit you not, guys. This thing actually eats from Pow. If it is non-boosting item Chien Pow, which means like heavy duty boots, something like that, we are not two hit KO, or we are not three hit KO'd by Crunch, which means we actually, in theory, provide no defense drops and things like that. Wallet, and we always force it out, which is incredible. We take hits from things like Gapdos. We're not two hit KO'd by non-banded Gapdos, which is also incredible as well. Um, we spread burns on this team like nobody spends. The Steam Eruption is very free, especially in a Rotom that doesn't have Pain Split anymore. So even if it's leftovers, we're canceling that out essentially. And if it's not, it's just going to get whittled down turn after turn after turn. It's great into things like Dawn Fan as well. We can blow that up. It's great into things like Chestnut and the Grim Snarl, which can't really touch us as well. So. Honestly, despite it being a really weird and wonky looking set, um, seeing Max Fizdef Volcanion, it's very good in this matchup, and I'm actually pretty happy with that. Big shout outs to, I think it was Endless in my front office who suggested this, so big shout outs to him for that. Next up, we have Spectre rocking out with the leftovers Shadow Bolt, Drinkus, Calm Mind, and Substitute, 192 HP, 132 uh, special attack, and 184 speed with a timid nature. This is probably our best Pokemon in this matchup. If you look at his team, his ghost immunity is Cyclosar. Um, and his Ghost Resist is Grimstrom. So, provided we get behind a sub, Calm Mind, Draining Kiss, um, and Shadow Ball just runs this team's fate. It's other, you know, it's Double Dark that loses to Spec because Chen Pao also just gets blown up by a Draining Kiss. EVs wise, we have enough speed for Cyclozar. At plus one, our sub is not broken by a defensive Thunderbolt from the Rotom. And then we have the rest in our special attack. If we can find the opportunity to force that switch to get behind a sub, it allows us to avoid Chien Power revenging us. It allows us to avoid the uh, Grimmsnarl from Thunder waving us or avenging us, making you know potentially two a KO or even Oko depending on where it's at. And it also prevents the Espada from really like dropping our stats or doing anything crazy. So I like Calm Mind a lot here. I think it does really really well. Um, and it's gonna be a great win con in this end game if we can position it. Next up, we have a Sneeze. They're rocking out with Close Combat, Rock Slide, Dire Claw, and U-Turn. Choice Scarf with the Poison Touch ability. Um, I totally forgot to change his EVs, I'm realizing, but um, this thing, <laughs> let me look up the EVs. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep messing up on my team builder slides, and it's very embarrassing. For 120 HP, max attack, and 136 speed with a Jolly. 
nature. Now, what is this thing for? This thing is really here to outspeed a plus one of Spothra. You're a terror dark on this set, so I'm hoping what I can do is always bait him into going for a Lumina Crash on myself, a terror dark, get an extra turn. I also, again, outspeed a plus one of Spothra, which is going to be really, really nice because even if he tries to come in, protect, and revenge me, he might not be able to, and I'm really expecting a Terra fighting, so I think Close Combat is going to be pretty free in this game. It's also a Scarf that's faster than Qian Pao, which is great. It's faster than Venomoth as well, so I can potentially rock slide that thing, which is really, really nice. And again, the fighting resists on this team are a little bit flimsy. Like, he has a few things like a Spoth or Pre-Terra, Venomoth, Galarian Zapdos, and Masquerade, but a lot of them just kind of get cooked by Dire Claw and Rock Slide. And Dire Claw's always going to give us a good win condition, because we can just put things to sleep by attacking them with our poison type move, or we can just poison everything. Uh, which is obviously very advantageous as well. So um, I'm definitely happy with Big Sneasler here. I think this is going to be a good like one-time check to the Spothra um, so it doesn't get super, super out of hand against us. Next up, we have our Sylveon rocking out with an Ayapapa Berry. We are Hyper Voice, Calm Mind, Psyshock, and Drainy Kiss. 240 HP, 184 defense, 48 special defense, and 36 speed with a bold nature. EVs wise, we live a banned uh, Gapdos after rocks, recouping no speed chestnut, and then we have the rest left over in our um, special defense. This is going to be our lead this game. If you look at Moog's team, he does not deal well with just like Calm Mind 3 attacks, uh, as, or Sylveon at all. Calm Mind uh, plus one Psyshock, just like Oko's, an offensive Venomoth from full. Guaranteed does 100% minimum. Um, I checked the calc and other than that He doesn't have very type switches and if we get up a calm mind We're gonna be in a good spot. We can live a hit from any one Pokemon on his team on lead There's quite literally nothing that can Oko's besides maybe a bandage gym pow But even then I'm, I'm not sure that calc off the top of my head one I don't think he's going to lead the pow um, two, I have my Volcanion in the back and three everything else just kind of gets cooked uh, We are hyper voice and draining kiss one because he can throat chop us with a couple things on his team. I'm not sure if Grimstall gets it. I'm pretty sure it does. He can throat chop us with Chen Pao and he can throat chop us with um, Gapdos. But we can always Draining Kiss on a lot of these Pokemon. And again, that's going to be great. I have Papa Berry is going to be great to allow us to live, you know, a couple hits from things. Once we start getting willed down, things like Venomoth and Gapdos and things like that. They're going to come in and attack us. We're going to be able to get I have Papa and Draining Kiss up. And I'm really thinking this Pokemon is going to be a big nuisance for him. I don't think he appreciates this set at all. Um, so I'm really excited for this one. Next up, we have our win con in this game. It's going to be Zerud making its debut off the bench. Power Whip, Acrobatic, Sword Stance, and Trailblaze. We have 192 HP, 100 attack, and 216 speed with Agility Nature. EVs wise, we have enough speed for Gapdos, which is going to be great, especially if you get the plus one with the Trailblaze. We live a regular Pow Crash from full, which is crazy how bulky this thing can be. Living a Chien Pow Crash from non boosting is awesome. It also allows us to live a lot of Ice Shards from a pretty healthy amount too, or, or a pretty low amount, which is really, really cool because it's going to be his main ways of revenging us. And then we have the rest in our attack. If you look at his team, the combination of Power Whip and Acrobatics nukes. I mean, Pow Whip, Power Whip, Power Whip, Power Whip. Power Whip, Power Whip, Acro, Acro slash Power Whip, either one more speaks to Cyclozar, Acro, Acro, Acro. So I'm really hoping this set can pop off. It's Lumberry because there's a lot of status on this team in particular. Uh, I'm mostly worried about the Rotom though, and I feel like we can really position ourselves in well. And it also gives us a pivot into Rotom early game so we can come in, force it out after we eat our Lum, and then throw off Power Whip and Acro, whatever we want to do, and then later try and win that game, which is really cool. So uh, I really think this Pokemon's going to do well for us. I like this set a lot. And lastly, our Spothra check. Um, we're rocking out with Copperage, we're rocking out with Heavy Slam, Play Rough, Whirlwind, Stealth Rock, 160 HP, 96 attack, and 252 special defense with an adamant nature. Even these guys be Oko, no bulk is Spothra after rocks with Heavy Slam. Um, and then we have the rest of our Spadef plus HP, just to take those hits as well as possible. This is me soul reading, terrifying as Spothra. I really think it's his best set against me by far. Uh, so I want to make sure that I can take that on, take Illumina Crash into Terra Blast Fighting, which I should take that very well. If it is Terra Fighting, I can play rough and nuke it as well. Uh, if it's a different typing, Heavy Slam pretty much covers everything. And that's like Terra Water, which I really don't think comes ever. Um, and if that's the case, I have soft checks like uh, Zerud and things like that. Which is really nice. Um, other than that, though, we should cover most sets with this. Terra Steel could be a problem as well. Um, but again, not something I'm particularly expecting. I'm really expecting that Terra Fighting. Um, I think it is so well into my team. Uh, I think it'd be crazy to not do so. So we're kind of soul reading a little bit. We have Whirlwind to prevent scary, scary setup. Uh, maybe something like a uh, Espothra is like behind a sub and it's starting to call mind and we don't want to let it sub call mind in our face and things like that. Uh, we can always Whirlwind it out and keep it chipped down that way. Plus, you know, forcing in things and giving us those advantageous matchups. Um, it could also be great for forcing out Rotoms that want to switch in on us so you can make more doubles and kind of scout and see what he wants to go for. Um, and again, get passive Rock Chips up if Rock is up. 
which rocks are up, which is great. Same thing with Dawn Fan. We can whirlwind it out. Make sure it can't come in and spin on us uh, because our spin blocker does not want to take a Dawn Fan hit this week because it's so good offensively. But um, yeah, that is going to be the team. I'll be right back with the battle. Also, editing Owen here. I keep forgetting. Um, I need to shout out our channel members of the month. I, I just keep on forgetting because I'm, I'm terrible at doing this. But big, big shout outs to our channel members right now. And odds are Big Mouth, Goose Fart, Olivia Sama, Zeke, and D Double. I appreciate you guys a ton. If you guys want to become members, there's a little join button down there. Mwah, love you. Okay. Anyways, battle time. Alrighty, guys. Here we are with the battle. We are connected with Mid. Let's see what he ended up bringing to the game. Okay, so we have a Chien Pao. We have an Espathra. He has Uber Pokemon. Espathra. We have a Dawn Fan. We have a Rotom Wash. And the Venomoth, which actually super sick shows me. A Zapdos, Galar, and a Venomoth. Okay. I don't think my game plan changes. I think I lead my Sylveon. And I try and have a good time with it. We'll see how it ends up going. I'm very weak to the Gapdos. I don't have much for it. So um, I think leading Sylveon at least puts me in a position where I don't immediately lose to that thing. Which is good. You might, might see me leaning back in my chair because I just got home from like Father's Day shenanigans. Um, and my dogs are very upset that I was gone for the day. So they're being very, very needy right now. Oh, huh, Snowy. What would you like? Okay. I think since I have everything set up, I can go ahead and pick her up back a little bit. Say everybody say hi to Snowy. Everybody say hi. Okay, we have an spot for lead. I don't like that very much, but it's okay. Okay. So I think from here I immediately pivot into Do I want to immediately pivot into Agent Raj? Or do I want to immediately calm mind? I think I immediately want to pivot into Raj. We'll see. My matchup into this thing is pretty bad. Again, I, I apologize for the laid back thing, but again, there's there's a dog right here. And she very much so wants me to hang out with her. I'm gonna go hard Raj. Immediate Terra. Okay, and two. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Paranormal with U turn. Okay. I mean, I'm Chopper on this. I think I low key want to get up my rocks. I think a Volt always comes out here. I think I want to get up my rocks and start chipping things down. Yeah. Do nothing to me. I get my rocks pretty freely, which is awesome. That's great for me. Um, I'm able to get them up pretty freely. Turn normal as Spothra. Okay. From here, where do I want to go? Do I want to try and keep up my rocks guaranteed, or do I want to go Sylveon? on this Dawn fan. Dawn fan, sorry again, this is some awkward positioning for your boy. I should be able to go Sylveon. I should be able to go Sylveon. That's a spin, that's fine. Whatever, not too big of a deal. But from here, I always just call mine. Okay. I'm just gonna call mine. Try and put on some pressure. He does withdraw. Then I'm off. Fine. I mean, you do nothing to me. Plus one side shock to you does a lot. I mean, I kill offensive Venomoth. Yeah, I'm just gonna side shock. It's okay, Snow. Mid goes for a sleep powder. Okay. 
Okay. I would love to wake up. Love to wake up. Let's see it. Let's see it. I'm okay with this trade. No, oh, clever. Wake up. Give me the kill. Wake up and give me the kill. Punish him for being greedy. Come on. Bam. Bam. I have to side shock again. I have to. Punish him. Are you gonna punish? Okay. Both plus one. So this doesn't kill me, so I should be able to wake up and kill him. Both plus. Okay. He's mono bug buzz. Or side shock. I mean, I'm gonna try and drain and kiss here. Do I have any priority in the back? And no priority. No, I always side shock. I always side shock. There's no reason not to. Miss? You just don't miss. It's okay. You just don't miss. You don't miss. I miss. Side shock again. Is that below? Please be below. Cool. Wake up first turn, please. Give me something, dude. Give me something, bro. Just a side shock. 224 down to 100. So he literally kills me with the next one. Thank you, goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, okay, so we killed the Venom off at the very least. So that's like an okay trade, because that thing cooked me. Um, I can also use my Copperaja for this Pokemon, or for the spot for now, which is really good. All right, like that's good. So we'll take that. Okay. Goodness fucking gracious. Max sleep turns into two, uh, into two turns sleep. It's annoying. Oh, we'll see. I apologize if you can hear the other dog barking in the background. They also get very nervous when everybody's not home and it's just me home. So they're probably just gonna bark. But he has a lot he can go into. <laughs> I also wonder what the role on that was. Because even on bulkier Venomoss, he obviously wasn't max HP, you know? Um, you can miss a crash. I ain't gotta switch into this. I mean, I could always keep this as a sack. And get right out into my boy. I can keep this as a sack. Not in a vault, but I also have this thing SDs and it's like life orb. I'm just gonna drain and kiss. If he misses crash, I'm gonna get spot. Crunch, don't kill. Okay, so we did kill. Um, is that banded? Can I tell from that? Life orbs. Okay. I mean, good to know. He had to be a boosting item to kill me there with crunch. Life orb did guarantee kill. So I know I outspeed too. All of these things are good. Um, what does he have in the back? He doesn't have a fighting resist anymore. I mean, I'm just gonna U-turn on the Dawn fan though. I'll be able to scout an item. Kind of telegraphing that I'm Scarf here. I'm hoping he's Covert Cloak instead. And I'm hoping I get a Poison Touch. Poison Touch? Okay. Okay. So do I want to go Dawnfin or go into my Zarud now?
Yeah, I think I do. I'm gonna go Zerud and I'm gonna SD. We're gonna SD up. Switch hard out! Hard gap those. That's unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Thinking back. <laughs> Um, shit. We're gonna be forced out here. We're gonna go into Volk. I mean, this is Max Fist at Volk. That has to be banded, right? Go for a big steam eruption. He's gonna withdraw. That has to be banned, right? I'm max fist F. Staff go scalar. I love a burn on this. Not banned it actually. Eat shit! No rest. Bolt. We should live. Max HP. Gonna pull. Go from here. I'm gonna stop. Um, I think we always go Cop Raja. I feel like we're hiding a pretty uphill battle, unfortunately. Two turn. Really interesting. I said, oh well. Figure it out. Burn's gonna come out. Is it gonna Volt or is it gonna Willow? I kind of hope it Willows. I don't hope it Willows. I'm hoping we condition him into wanting to just Willow what's in front of him. Gonna Hydro Pump. Miss. I'm just gonna Power Up, I think. I can also no item acro in the Zapdos. How much is that going to do? Not much more than Power Rip. So we're just going to drop it. Just going to drop the Power Rip. Might as well. They do a decent chunk. Not that much. I mean, about about what we expect. A low roll on no HP. Mirror again, we have to go Volk. We're gonna lose to the Zap though soon, though. Ain't much I can do about it. Maybe use Terra Normal because he's so scared of Spectre. Yeah? Two turning. Can't defend against the Naughty. gonna go into right here. What's he gonna do right here? Bothra comes out. We should burn a sleep talk turn. Oh, even gonna crash. Okay. I mean, getting damage on this is clutch for my Spectre here. 
Just give me a give me a flamethrower, give me a steamer option, give me something. Give me something. He's letting this take a hit for no reason. So like punish him on it. Of course, of course. Mint doesn't get fucking punished during this game. He never gets punished. He gets perfect sleep turns. I just don't know what it is against mid. I really struggle against him, man. He just... He fucks with me, man. I don't... Hmm. He stayed in. Is he not choice? He's gonna U-turn. Not choice is spot with U-turn. Also, really interesting. But yeah, it's just so frustrating because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, if I don't get lucky like fucking mid, you know? It's tough. It's tough. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do in this matchup. Especially when I get boned on every turn possible. Genuinely, dude. It's very, very frustrating. I mean, I need to force some progress with Brox. I'm just gonna get him up. He's not choice in the Spoth right either miss good okay look i got lucky i had a lucky turn okay i mean now we can go into zarud which is cool he's gonna burn me You know one. I'm not sure I'll blaze this turn because it allows me to fasten the Scarf Zapdos. Yeah, and then I can knock it out with an acro. Especially after rocks. Okay. So with no item, we should guarantee new ones. Oh, so we're knocking out. Rocks are up too. Gen Pao does not knock us out with an ice shard. I will I, I will power up the shit out of that Pokemon. Because after Life Orb and Rocks, it dies. <laughs> so I I will take that trade as that Pokemon is broken and demolishes me. I will 100 percent take that trade. So we have Zapdos gone, Brodom gone. Or no, Zapdos wrong, Venomoth gone. He has to give me one more here. Spothra's boots. Oh, I just kind of found the issue though. And with U turn. You can also protect here. I think I am gonna SD. Ah, does he U turn though or does he protect? Yes! Okay, we got it. Okay. Alright, and then depending on how fast he is, we could actually outspeed him still here. He's gonna U-turn. Now it's a matter of just Chien Pao knock me out from here. He gives me another one right here. Oh, bro. Why do I live? And I can click Acro to not miss? Rotom, give me... Let's go! Huge! Massive. So now we just have Chien Pao, Spothra. Okay, wait. Do I live this? I live this, I think. Unless he's adamant, I live this. Guaranteed.
Cliff. Let's go! Acro kills. Let's go, baby. Freaking huge, dude. One fan comes out and definitely has ice shard, but I always take this turn to like reset, right? And I always get off my guaranteed damage. I mean, he should be ice shard if this is what he's playing. But I mean, I always get off a of trailblaze in case he's not. Oh, he's not. I mean. That's fine, right? Okay. Um. Now, do I go Sneasler here? Let me check. I, I can go this, and if it doesn't kill, I can just U-turn. I mean, since it doesn't guarantee kill, can't I just U-turn? Yeah, I'm just gonna U-turn. Sack off Volk. I think that guaranteed kill, but just in case it's max fizz def and didn't, you know? Now, I want to die here. I want to die here. So I'm going to click... Flamethrower in case I don't, you know, kill here. I want to die so I can go back and out and just Sneasler. No, I want to die. I want you to kill me. Now I'm going to sleep talk. I want you to kill me. I want you to kill me. Paranormal is Spothra, so my Scar Sneezler should win. Alright, go close combat. If you're fizzed out. Now, if for some reason I don't outspeed this turn. No, I don't tear here. I don't tear here. Because if he gets a double protect, I want to save my terror dark. He doesn't get it. Okay, cool. So I knock him out. Cool. So we win. Um, that was a really scary game. I was super nervous, but Zeru popped off. I got lucky with the Willow Mist because I got my rocks. I mean, realistically, I got lucky with the Willow Mist because I got to get my rocks, and then I switched out and never came back in. So, who knows? Um, I think I was fine. Maybe I played around in the end game a little bit weird and wanted Sneasler to win. Um, but I feel like it was my safest way in case he was random, like, call mine last move or something, but I don't know. Um, I wanted to get Sneasler in so I can click close combat over and over and over again. There wasn't any terror mind games or anything like that, so... Um, and again, maybe the close combat killed from there. Um, and I'm super, super tripping on the roll, but I'd rather give up a diff than throw, I guess. Um, so I'm okay with how I played. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, and able to take home a nice dub this week and move on to 2-0. Uh, go check out me in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.